This year's Pikachu number one is uh, pretty much stuck in a one pose position. I don't see any articulation. Maybe a little bit on the, the ears and his tail doesn't do anything even though it's kind of stuck in there. Uh, he does come with this uh, little launcher though and you just stick him in and you squeeze really hard and he jumps a little bit. The uh, launcher is also used as a stand and you can just snap him in and then have him sit on it. Sort of. <laughs> uh, he's a little bit smaller than last year's Pikachu. Last year's was a little bit bigger and last year's, if we all remember, had the light up cheeks which aren't lighting up very well in this light. But I actually kind of like this new one better though because he just has a little more fierce, a little more fierce than this one. So, ah, that is the Pikachu for this year. Everyone's favorite, of course. What is a duwatt, you're asking? Well, a duwatt is simply a blue cat with a dress, ping pong paddles, and a beaver tail. Yes, a beaver tail. This is one of the more interesting uh, Pokemon I've seen. I've never caught one before, and if I did, man, I didn't, wouldn't know what to do with him. But I like it. Uh, this little figure doesn't have any articulation, but it does have a moving beaver tail, and moving ping pong paddle arms, and rotating head. So there you go, a duot. Very funny. I wouldn't mess with him. I have to say something about this Woobat here. This is definitely one of my favorite Pokemons in a long time coming from McDonald's. He's just neat looking. He's got a cool spiky, uh, soft spiky body, um, two bat wings coming out of his sides, uh, a nice pointed tooth mouth, and a cool pink eye, or is that a nose? Probably a nose. If he's hiding in the dark cave, he's going to need to smell. Uh, I like this guy a lot. He is cool. He's got the action feature of the flapping wings. He's got pretty much that, but he's really neat. I like the Zubat. Oop, got, got the wings stuck there for a minute. Definitely one of the coolest I've seen. I'm going to have to do more with this guy. Come back, Zubat. I mean, Woobat. There he is. <laughs> oh, there he goes again. Come back, come back, come on. Oh, yay, he's back. Oh, oh, he's got to Come back, come back. Oh, and he's back again. Oh, I love him. He's great. Is that a Servine? I think it is. Um, the Servine is kind of... Um, the worst one out of the group, <laughs> in my opinion. Uh, he looks really neat, actually, but I don't know. There's nothing really going on that really makes me say, wow. He falls over pretty easily. He's got these little tiny feet. Um, very limited articulation like the others, just hands and a head. Um, his tail doesn't move, even though it looks like it might. It, it Maybe it would if you broke it, but... <laughs> He's really kind of not very um, climatic in the Pokemon world to me. The others have a little more character than he does. But actually, you know, all six are very strong, so um, he is in no way a horrible figure. Um, looks good with the others, so if you get one, don't be sad. Because, you know, any Pokemon is better than no Pokemon. But um but um but um but um but um but um da da do it's Axu or Zu or I don't know, I'm having a hard time pronouncing his name. Uh he is a neat little shark like creature with a reptile body. I like this guy a lot just because of his sinisterness, his big red eyes, his strange sideways teeth. He's got it going. He's got a little bit of articulation up front with moving arms 
and then he has an action feature with a little switch on his back and uh, you just press it back and forth and he rotates his head a little bit back and forth gives you the heck no I'm not doing this video anyway um, I like him a lot the only problem is he's a little top heavy um, he likes to fall over um, yeah so that's the downside but overall he looks really neat uh, kind of reminds me of Sharky from Eek the Cat but you have to be really old to know that one um, so he's he's definitely ready for the year 2012 this guy is and so that's what that is about let's talk pig night pig night is a very large and bulbous stocky round pokemon <laughs> almost egg like with feet and arms uh, but the sad truth is is pig night is actually Pikachu and poor Pikachu ate so much McDonald's Happy Meal food that he became well Pig Knight. <laughs> well at least some say some circles say. Uh, Pig Knight looks pretty good overall he doesn't have any action features he just has some rotating uh, large arms with uh, claws on them and uh, a little spiky ball tail which kind of rotates it's a little sticky stands pretty good he's pretty heavy out of the group of six he's probably the largest uh, he is painted pretty good has a few colors so that's kind of nice to him uh, I think I would give him a four out of five pretty neat little toy and uh, that's what I have to say about that pig knight <laughs>